Hello everyone, once again, I'm Kevin from War Games, as always, and uh, today we have another janky, basically thrown together deck, uh, as I love to focus on all the kinds of things that you can pretty much just go on Arena and put together because you have the stuff lying around usually. Uh, I don't have one of the Wizards God Mode accounts where you just have access to all copies of every card. Um, I get the purpose of why they give those out to the big name streamers and content creators. It makes more great stuff for you guys to watch, but um, it does mean the rest of us uh, small time guys making content for Magic Arena are pretty much just left to our own devices, so that's, uh, that's why I like to just focus on stuff that uh, pretty much anyone can make. <clears throat> So today's deck, uh, I like to just call it Mono Green Hexproof, but it's basically, there are three parts. Uh, one, it is a ramp deck. We have Gift of Paradise, Lanoir Elves, a couple Hope Tenders. Um, and I like Hope Tender, even though there may be better options. Um, occasionally you can get some great value by uh, untapping a land that is enchanted with Gift of Paradise. So... Uh, you spend one and you basically get three mana off of a single land. Or if the land has uh, multiple gifts on it, then you get a bunch more. Why not? Uh, the second part of the deck, after you ramp a little bit, we have things that um, are basically either pump spells like Titanic Growth or Auras, Blanchwood Armor. Since this is a mono green deck, we have tons of forests to upgrade our uh, power and toughness of the creatures. And what makes these good, um, because against a high removal kind of deck, which there are honestly quite a bit of uh, in the um, arena meta right now, we need something that can't be targeted uh, by one-off removal. So we have a bunch of random stuff like Jungleborn Pioneer. When it comes down, it creates a merfolk creature token with hexproof. Jade Guardian has Hexproof itself and can give itself or uh, one of our Merfolk tokens a, uh, a plus one, plus one counter. Uh, we also have Vine Mare, Hexproof, and can't be blocked by black creatures. So that's uh, an occasional upside against black aggro. We don't really need to worry about it getting removed or blocked. And then, of course, we have the best Hexproof, <laughs> Creature, Carnage Tyrant, which uh, I unlocked on on a uh, an earlier episode. It was a uh, it was pretty bad. Uh, Scaled Behemoth is basically the same. It's just copies three and four of Carnage Tyrant. Uh, I currently don't have any wild cards to finish off the Carnage Tyrant set, um, but it's okay. Uh, like I said. This deck is basically thrown together with whatever I had. Uh, on the top end of the uh, of the massive uh, pump spells, we have Prodigious Growth. So this costs a massive 6 mana, but it does give a creature plus 7, plus 7, and Trample. So if it's not a Carnage Tyrant, or... Uh, uh, actually, I guess that is the only creature we have that naturally has Trample by itself. So we can put this on anything... Skilled Behemoth is a pretty good option. Um, I mean, basically, you're just going to be able to crash through almost any defense and and hit uh, hit your opponent directly. Uh, Rishkar's Expertise is just a one of. Uh, I think I only have the one copy, but uh, I'm not entirely sure I would want more than one. Uh, this can create some really fun plays where we. Uh, we have a creature like a Carnage Tyrant or a Scaled Behemoth, maybe with a, a Blanchwood armor on it, so it has a million power. And then Rishkar's Expertise gets us a bunch of cards. Uh, we can cast one of them for free, so you can cast another Blanchwood armor, uh, or Titanic Growth, or uh, whatever else, whatever you have that's uh, five or less, so anything that's not on the top end. 
And then if you have some mana left over, you can throw down like, I don't know, a Blossoming Defense or something to pump up your creature, uh, give it <laughs> give it extra hexproof, double hexproof for some reason, you might want that. Although that is a, uh, Blossoming Defense is a great, uh, great pump spell for the mana dorks if you want to really keep them alive. And uh, sometimes they attack anyway, so... So yeah, let's get into it. Mono Green Hexproof. With the old Ajani... Ajani Swag Flare. Uh, what do we have here? First we got a Mana Dork, we got a Pump Spell. And we have a couple Hexproof creatures. So... Yeah, looks good to me. Let's go. Oh, and we go first. Um, so we might have to exert the... Oh, nope. <laughs> Never mind, we drew the fourth land. I was thinking we might have to exert this to get the Vine Mare out. Um, of course, if I want to do it on turn three, I'll still do that anyway. Ooh, which... Which I might. Uh, in fact, I think I am going to do that. Tap three. Uh, exert to untap two target lands. I don't have any... Any of my... Uh, um, what's it called? New Horizons? The Land Aura? Whatever. Anyway, I don't need this, this Hope Tender. I'd rather get a Vine Mare out on turn three. And, yeah, so he has to chump block. What is this? I haven't seen this in a while. Thunder herd migration as an additional cost, reveal a dinosaur, or pay one. Uh, search library for basic land. No, oh, he paid the one. Okay. Um, ooh. Ooh, that's going to be good. That's going to be great. So the question is, should I go with Titanic Growth, or should I save it? Um, I think I'm going to save it. At some point, there's going to be blockers that can take care of Vine Mare. So I'm going to save the Titanic Growth for that. <sighs> Hour of Devastation. Uh... Does five damage to each creature and each boss point. You know what? Uh, if I do this, I can make it immune to that damage. Right? Woo! <laughs> uh, that made me happy. <laughs> uh, that does put me in a little bit of an awkward spot uh, regarding my land. Ah, oh, the Initiate's Companion. This is um, kind of the uh, the most awkward of my of my ramping cards. In fact, I think oh, ooh. Is he gonna he doesn't pump. Okay, still alive. If I draw a land, it's over next turn. He's tapping some mana. Looks like he has something. Oh, Gift of Paradise. That's the one I was thinking of, not New Horizons. Um, not sure what he's going to do with that. I think he's just hoping to make it one more turn. Okay. Uh-huh. That's fine. If I get another land... Oh! oh, oh come on. All right. Tap three. Target uh, an untapped land. Gain some life. And so that guarantees next turn that we have... 
uh, enough for the prodigious growth. And that should be game. I don't know what, what else he can do unless he draws another hour of devastation. Oh, Pelaka Worm. That can definitely give him some more... Uh, some more life. But now that I have two prodigious growths, I don't think I care. And there's the scoop. <sighs> Excellent. That feels good. <laughs> My crappy little deck that anyone can just make with anything. You just have lying around. And I guess there are there, there are some rares in here. Um, this is just a one-off to protect against stuff like that Hour of Devastation. Um, I didn't have it at the time, but if I did, it would have been nice. I would have saved both of my creatures. I'm still not super sold on this uh, particular card. I think this is a very, very flex slot. Because, what does it do? It doesn't even really ramp. It just lets us play more on our second main. Um... <clears throat> The question is, what would we replace it with? I guess Talons of Wildwood gives Trample. Uh, Oaken Farm is pretty nice. Do another, another ramp spell. You know what? Uh, look, we're gonna we're gonna make an audible change right now. Oh wait, I'm taking out Titanic. My bad. I'm hitting the wrong one. Okay. I'm gonna do it right this time. Where is Initiate's Companion? Um Yeah, I I don't know that this even uh, gives enough uh pressure in the early game. So let's go with one. Uh, two. Um. Do we are are there any more green hexproof creatures that I just don't have? There's a four mana. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna do that. I actually forgot. I forgot that the uh, that the three one cat was in the deck, and uh, I I played a couple practice games and um, I just wasn't really happy with it. It pretty much dies to anything. It rarely connects. People are happy to trade off a one one for it because it, and the upside of untapping a land from first um, this is okay. Um, untapping a land from the first main to the second, it's just not even that good. It's not the kind of ramp that we really want. <clears throat> so, what do we have here? Ah, we have a Spell Slinger deck. Man, I'm getting lots and lots of ramp. We'll see. Maybe I did mess up the uh, the balance just a little bit. No, wait. Hang on. Okay, so all wizards have prowess. Um, he's tapped out. Yeah, sure. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, get in for two, because why not? <sighs> okay, we really, really do want... Oh, yep, yeah, mm, that's pretty good. 
Ooh, okay. We seriously need a hexproof creature now. That's going to be the key. Um, okay. All right. So, looks like he has haste. And, okay, this is a pretty big board now. If I don't get a creature this very turn... Oh boy. That might have been it. That might have been the turn that I needed it. Yep. Okay. I'll play it out. But I am fairly certain this is just... Game? Uh... <sighs> okay. Is it worth it? No. I don't think I even have a quest I can finish by randomly casting my spells on the other team. Okay. So that was probably just a risky risky hand to keep. I only had the one creature. But who knows? Maybe the maybe the deck just doesn't have enough creatures in the first place. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm about to make the same mistake again, aren't I? Well, we're doing it. <sighs> I have no idea what to expect now. Please draw something good. I almost would have preferred to be uh, to go second, I think, to get my draw. Ooh. Oh man. Well, at least we can attack. <laughs> Next turn we have five mana available. Oh, wow. Uh, huh. So now I have the feeling that even if I just throw down a prodigious growth on one of my Llanowar Elves next turn, yeah, it'll just be killed. Yeah, it'll be like Fatal Pushed or Murdered or Unsummoned. Oh, there's a whole host of things that blue-black control can do. Let's see what he t throws out. <laughs> Exiled. Oh, man. Is it worth it? <laughs> uh, since I have two, I'm going to go ahead and do it. This is... I mean, it's an 8-8. Is that good enough? I, I don't imagine it is. I think the murder is going to come out. Ah! Yes. Need more hexproof. Oh, boy. Um, I guess I'll throw out the Hope Tender, who can at least block. Can give me some emergency mana as well. Um, my question is, what is this deck going to be playing for Finisher? It This really very well could be a Scarab God deck. Haven't seen much of that lately, but I mean, it's still a good card, and he has lots of enters the battlefield. Uh, should I save this? No, I don't think I can. I can't afford the card.
Yep, no blockers. Go ahead. If I draw a big, hexproof, baddie creature, I can still win. Oh, that is 100% not it. If I throw down a prodigious growth on the Llanowar Elves, I am definitely dead. Oh, this is so awkward. I don't want to waste the titanic growth on him either. Uh, opt, yeah. That's fine. One to the top. That sucks. <clears throat> oh. Uh-oh. There's the five. Any creatures in here? No. Oh, okay. Hmm. No blockers. Oh, come on. You've got to be kidding me. Um, <laughs> um, super awkward, super awkward. How much for the deck have we gone through? Um, five, six, seven, eight. Is there any way that I can eight, nine? No blocks. I'll just, I'll just take it. See what happens. I don't think blue black has any pump spells. <gasps> Ooh, okay. So it was six, seven, seven. Um, I don't think I can deal eighteen right now. He has all his mana up, too. He's probably just going to kill this in response, and then I'll be dead. Mm. Yep. Well, close enough. And that's the game, because I cannot block the flyer. Ugh. That feels pretty bad. <clears throat> well, if we go back in and look at the deck, I did put in the New Horizons. I haven't drawn that once. Um, maybe I do just need more hexproof creatures. There aren't a whole... <laughs> there aren't a great many. Are there any at uncommon? Vine Mare is an uncommon. I, I have one... One of these. One wild card. I think if we want to... Uh, real quick... Change the deck. Hopefully give us a shot. Um, anything else? I have three, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven creatures with hexproof. Um, let's uh, let's take this out and go with another creature that we can give. 
hexproof once. <laughs> I think that'll do it. Part of making janky decks uh, with whatever scraps you have lying around is realizing that uh, sometimes, sometimes the scraps you have just aren't enough. Um, I actually like this. Our Lanamore Elves could be killed, for sure. But we have turn two, turn one Lanamore Elves, turn two Gift of Paradise, turn three Vine Mare, and then start putting Blanchwood Armors on it, basically. That's pretty good. Oh, man. Hang on. Uh, that might have come through. I'm going to close that so we stop getting annoying notifications. Um, Gift of Paradise. Awesome. So now we have four mana next turn, no matter what. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I could probably do Vine Mare and then another Elf. Cool. Awesome. I'm feeling, I'm feeling much better now. I don't think there's a whole ton that this guy can do. This is only plus three, plus three. But... Uh, no. I won't attack. This... oh. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. I guess I'll save it. Leave up the titanic growth to protect something, if need be. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to ever a dungeon. Has anyone ever played this card? Okay. So is he just going to try an infinite block? More notifications. Hang on. Okay. Oh, it wasn't even on my turn. That sucks. Okay. Uh huh. Yep. So he does not have trample yet. Maybe there was an argument for um, putting in that two mana enchantment that we used in the, the, the green white deck that gives plus one plus one and trample comes back to hand. But the good thing is he can't attack. He's going to have to block continuously. And we have plenty of tramplers. Come on. Come on. Okay. Awesome. Well, let's go attacking. One, two, and I'm gonna attack with one of these to see if maybe he, um, maybe he makes a bad block and we just pump this guy with Titanic Growth to clear his board a little bit. 
Uh, yep, yep, we're gonna go ahead and remove you, sir. Very dwarfist. Don't like dwarves. They're small and spooky. Carry axes and stuff. Oh. Flying Vigilance Lifelink. I see. Well, we're just gonna go wide. And begin attacking with everything. Because... I don't think... I don't think that he can win the race. At this point. <clears throat> Ooh. Is this a legendary creature? It is now. So it's like legendary auras. Uh, okay. That'll do it. Now the game is over. Yep. Feels good, man. Feels good. See, I knew this deck could do it. We just have to go against a deck that is trying to do the same thing, but worse. <laughs> in, in worse colors and in a worse way. These games have at least been going pretty quick. <clears throat> Not like the, um, the Sun Mare deck that sometimes gets in stalemates with the go-wide uh, cat's deck. Ooh. Okay, we have our low end and our high end. Oh boy. This one. Alright, so this is probably the thing that's trying to... Sure, I'll take one. Trying to gain enough life for... Um, the Resplendent Angel. This is like the bad life gain deck. Because it has to gain five every single turn. Oh, you know what? No. No, 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 no. Too many horses. Oh, this actually isn't a horse. That's a unicorn. So maybe it is a... Um, uh, what do you call it? Um, a sun mare deck? Or a cat deck? I don't actually know what this thing is doing. Uh, I think I'll just go ahead and trade here. He is tapped out. Hmm, sure. I don't really care about Jungleborn Pioneer. It's just a way for me to get another hexproof creature out. And let's go with no attackers. Let's see if he sits back. And goes, tries to defend, or if he... Yeah, okay, so we can, we can prodigious growth if he sits back. Uh, yeah. Ooh, actually, or we can just continue to go... To go wide. Go wide with fatties. So that we have something to block. There's no swing back. We're sitting at 14 life. Uh, I think that's enough. That I don't really want to risk it. Oh man. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> uh... <laughs> yep, yep, get that targeted removal. Um, 
I am a little worried about a settler wreckage. So let's continue to not attack. And we'll get a prodigious growth on the scaled behemoth next time. <clears throat> okay. Uh, awesome. Yep. Attack. Let's go one, two. Yes, yeah, six open. Just in case. Just in case he has a settle. I'm just going to go with the one. All right. There's a good bit of damage. I hate playing safe, but it is the <laughs> it is the smart thing to do. Oh, this is so late. <laughs> I feel so bad. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, is there a sorry or an oops? No, uh, I'm not gonna do that to him. Oh, right. My bad. I thought it was my turn. Oh. Oh, he's going for it. Is he just trying to get his quest or something? Oh, you know what? He might have a pump spell, but that's fine. Um, should I trade off? Nah. So if he... Pumps up his guys. No. Maybe. Maybe that was some huge gambit to make me, um, <laughs> to make me fall for, uh, attacking into a settle? Maybe? <laughs> or he, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, to be fair, the, the hexproof plan of uh, pumping up your creatures and getting crazy auras like Blanchwood Armor and Prodigious Growth. It is at least a lot of fun. I think if there was a way to get some more cheap um, hexproof creatures, it would be even better. Uh, let, me, let me take a, a quick look at what I don't have. And let's see if there are any better options, at least. Uh, Swift Warden does not do it. No. Nope. Okay, so this is this is pretty much it. Uh, I have all of the hexproof creatures in there, just not. Oh, so this doesn't even give itself hexproof. It gets it gets hexproof if something else has it. Well, at least this would be a fun deck to build around. <clears throat> if it wasn't about to cycle out of standard legality. <clears throat> okay, well that was that was pretty fun, but uh I got I got smacked around a little bit more than I usually do. Even even worse than my mono-black aggro crappy thrown-together deck, but that's what we're here for. So once again, it's time to say goodbye. Have a good day, everyone.